I've got the spectrum analyzer connected to the output of the SA612 to see, uh, try and figure out where the noise, uh, that spurious 4.9 uh, megahertz uh, spikes coming from. So right now the board is not powered on and I do have the local oscillator, the I'm uh, sorry BFO coming in and the BFO is set for uh, 4.91307 Hertz and on the spectrum analyzer I've got a marker set here for where 4.9 megahertz spike should be and there's nothing so that's with the power off. So here's Spectrum with the uh, power turned on to the board and uh, you can clearly see the 4.9 megahertz spike there. So at, uh, that spike's only present with the uh, power turned on. I have separate power supplies that's feeding uh, the board here. This is a completely separate power supply to the power supply that's powering the SI5351 so I've got power supply isolation there so my guess is that that 4.9 megahertz signal is making its way along one of these traces with the power supply trace or a signal trace or a control line but uh, it's coming along one of the uh, one of the traces I've got a jumper here which I can pull out which uh, is the power supply that's leading power to the um, SA uh, 612's so right now uh, uh, all the TX circuitry on the board is being powered except for the uh, SA 612's and if we look at the spectrum analyzer that peak has disappeared so it has something to do with the power being fed to the um, SA612's. In my last video I had the uh, spectrum analyzer connected to the output of the crystal filter with the BFO being fed into the first uh, SA612 and no tone being injected into the microphone and from here there was a very small amount of signal that was coming through the crystal filter. So what uh, it occurred to me is that the SA612 has an amplifier, has an RF amplifier built in. So what I might be seeing is that small amount of signal coming in here being amplified by the SA612 and then making it uh, to the output. So I'm going to go ahead and try and measure what that signal is here and uh, I know that um, the SA612 I think it's about 17 dB of gain um, the amplifier has so I'll see how much gain uh, I'm getting um, at the input and at the output of the SA612 this is the spectrum uh, from the output of the crystal filter and I've got it averaging over a hundred um, samples and that takes out all the little spikes, all the little variation and we get a fairly uh, constant uh, value there and you can see there is a peak there is a signal present there and the average signal is around 83 uh, dBm roughly about 83 dBm so that's how much signal is present at the input of uh, the SA612 which is coming from the output of the uh, crystal filter. So this is showing the output of the SA612 and again I've got it to average over a hundred times and uh, you can clearly see this, the spike here it's quite larger and if we take a look at the value it's roughly about 64 and we're seeing about 83 so we're seeing uh, roughly about uh, 20 dB of gain and I believe the SA612 uh, has an amplifier and it gives about uh, roughly about 17 dB of gain. I'll have to check the data sheet but uh, 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 17 versus 20 so it looks as if that spike there is coming from the internal amplifier of the SA612 and once again I pulled the power to the SA612's and 
you can see there's almost nothing there. That spike at 1, marker 1, is down at minus 92 dBm, and the floor, if you look at the noise floor, that's roughly about 91, 91, 92 dBm, so that's right down in the uh, noise floor that we're seeing. So that spike looks as if it's coming from the SA612s, and I, I suspect it's from uh, the amplification.